Hey, how's it going, old school RuneScape, and welcome to another weekly recap. So we started out the week with a few fixes, including many small achievement diary fixes, as well as changing the Cursed Goblin weapon slightly to prevent AFKing and griefing. Up next, we get a closer look at the soon-to-come Easter event, and with the Easter Bunny caught up in a bind once again, he needs your help delivering his eggs. This time with a few interesting twists, like a possible chocolate bunny pet, or even giant bunny feet. So if you want to see that happen, be sure to head to your nearest poll booth now and get your votes in. And speaking of polls, there are quite a few questions alongside the Easter event, such as adding a break option to the Rings of Recoil, the ability to check Barrow's equipment to find out its exact percentage of degradation, and the ability to purchase multiple devices from Ava at a time. And fortunately for you guys, they're all passing very comfortably. Following that, we've added the brand new achievement cape emote, and it's blowing the community away. As you can see, Mod Ghost put just about as much as this game can handle into this epic emote, with flying ducks, gnome children, and even a KBD giving you all the more reason to hop into your Achievement Diaries grind and get to work on those tasks. And lastly, we've also updated the look of the new Elite Void Robes. And alongside the soon-to-come increased cap of Void Commendation points from 250 to 4000, you have all the more reason to hop on your Pest Control grind. Moving on, we have our Player Spotlight feature. Starting off yet again with Oblivionite, who's back with another epic comic, this time telling the tragic story of finding out what happens when you actually release your Chin Chambas. These are amazing. And following that, we have GE Prisoner, who has decided to make his account a Grand Exchange only account, limiting his access to the game strictly to the Grand Exchange. What's up, everyone? It's Beescape here, and welcome to the first episode of Only Use GE. And you can follow his progress and watch as he kills random imps that spawn and flips items in the Grand Exchange. And lastly, we have BB8, a level 39 account who somehow managed to achieve a fire cape, leaving the community absolutely mind blown as to how he got this thing. So be sure to check out all of the player spotlights via the links below. And aside from that, that about sums up this week in Old School RuneScape. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the game. 